Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will share with you how I do math lesson with my son. And today, specific, we will learn about the money math. The reason why I want to talk about money math is because um, a couple weeks ago when I start teaching him the math and I'm asking him to use the money and he has a hard time uh, doing that. He was able to do uh, math on the paper beautifully perfectly but when it's apply it to the money uh, the real money or the paper money he could not do it at all and it's very intimidated for him and he's shy and he's he nervous so I think maybe this is a good opportunity for me to slow down and teaching him how to use money at the same time how to apply his math to the real life and I think is important for me to take in time and give him opportunity to practice. And since we are on the math lesson a couple weeks for like, I think three weeks now, and we just got it done. And this week it's the last, last final lessons. And I want to take this opportunity to share with you how I teach him math lesson on the paper, on the workbook and on the test book and then apply it to the real money. So here I have, what I have here is um, the money, the paper money. This paper money is really, is thick. It look real and close to the real money. So if there's no confusion for the kids to learn um, from this paper to the, to the real money, the $50 right here is beautiful. Also, I yield a coin. I yield a real coin. This is how I teach him. First of all, I teach him how to short the money out. Like five dollar go with five. One one dollar go with one dollar. Ten dollar will go with ten dollars. So I ask him to short it out on the table, and then he will look into his textbook or workbook. And what he gonna do is he gonna convert this math problem into the money pick out the money and do the and do the calculations after he done with his calculation with the paper money what he does is he gonna go to his book or his his paper right here he gonna do the he gonna test his math to make sure this math on the paper is matched with the paper paper money after he done with that, he can write down his answer right here. If, if he doesn't have the match number, the match result, he have to retest them. He either have to read them with the money or with his math on the paper again. So I'm gonna call my son and we're gonna start to show you how do we do this. Remember how to do this? So short it out. Short it out. So fourteen dollars. We don't have a four dollar, so we make a four dollar out of one dollar. And to use this and less money, we use a ten. Because you're not doing five plus five plus five or ten ones. So fourteen and eighty. $20. Then we have 15. Now we have to add 30 plus 10 equals 4. 3 quarters. 75 cents plus 10 equals 85 cents plus 5 equals 100 cents. That's $1. So I will put this away and put $1. test to make sure this is correct. 85 cents 
plus $26.15. Zero. One dollars and zero cents. Is that correct? Forty-one dollars and zero cents. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What we're gonna do now is continue doing this lessons um, with the timer, using timer to to reinforce the focus and the discipline that he need to stay in the timeline. And uh, that's how to improve his math skill at the same time. But if he cannot do it, it's okay too. We, it just give me the feedback that he need to practice more. And uh, or maybe he need to break it down smaller step to practice more. And so um, I'm gonna put the timer on right now and see how he does. Okay, Tabiris, come back here. $29.65 plus $0.95. We have 20. Need a 9. So we have 5. 5 and a 10. Quarters is good enough for me. Then we need 95. So we're. $1. Bye bye. bye. No, because that was $1. No, that is 5 cents. Okay, keep go ahead. I've, I've, I've got, I've, I've got six quarters. So I just, I just could not stop myself that I had to stop him. But I just recognize that I let him be because uh, this is a good example that he had to redone his math later on. So <laughs> I, I should stop myself that, you know, this is a one of the owl, you know, as a mom mistake, right? That we just want to come in and fix the problem. So I was jumping over him. Uh, let's see if he can figure that out and do this math correct. So there was, okay. First, we have to do problem to test them. I nearly forgot. I'm sorry, I didn't cross off All right, hand. so now I'm going to test you. We're going to redone your math in three minutes. Okay, let's do this. Are you able to focus now? Uh-huh. Ready? $29. Okay. Let's keep through testing so your problem. Many. Okay, so I think that's it for today for us. Thank you for joining us with the math lesson today. I hope you have a wonderful day to whatever you're doing, and I uh, will see you next time. And we forgot Thank to you. video the rest. <laughs> yes, we did. We forgot to. Um, Click on the recording button for the second uh, subtraction lessons. So what I bought, I bought from the I bought the paper money. The paper money is from um. I'm do it. I just keep this two box together like this. This you know like you don't have. To, if you see me, uh, you won't see fancy boxes, other stuff. And discipline is the answer to everything. That's and correct. don't forget, looking at an ancient fossil is the answer to everything, especially cake. <laughs> uh, Hooray! More work! I love math! That's my favorite subject of the day. And it never includes drinking water for three hours. So, because I've, I've got, I've got, I've, I've, so I've, 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 I've. Give him the timer to speed up. And when he does that, it requires more focus.